Welcome back to my second installment on how to repair broken kits, uh, models, you know, models that it may have uh, fallen off of a shelf or maybe your pet got a hold of it or whatever, just making quick repairs. But anyway, I've been working on the chassis of uh, Richard Petty's Daytona Superbird and I've actually glued the engine back in place, the exhaust system, fixed the wheels, I repinned the broken axle in the back. I uh, used a paper clip, paper clip for that and some super glue and it's looking good so far. I'll be shortly I'll be putting that all back together with the roll cage, uh, the dash, uh, the seat, everything pretty much got glued back in waiting for that to dry. Uh, made a repair to the bumper itself. I took and uh, glued it with some super glue and what I'm going to do is take and uh, put some uh, bare metal foil on it and hopefully uh, you shouldn't even notice that I ever did a repair to the bumper. Gluing the windshield back in place, I've used some uh, PVA glue on the front there. Um, basically, you know, everything looks pretty good on this. I did notice a crack on the front here. You can see that. Um, hopefully I can uh, blend that in. You won't even tell that it's there. We'll see what happens with that. I'm not sure what I'm going to blend it with, but I will be blending it with something. And i got to get the wings back on, and she'll be almost ready to go back on the shelf. Thank you for watching, and uh, we'll see you again on part three. Okay, here she is, uh, fully repaired, uh, just like, uh, almost just like she was before. Uh, she fell off the shelf about three feet to her demise, but uh, got her complete. And as you can see, I made the repair to the bumper. And uh, if you look closely, I mean, you know, um, I used some bare metal foil to cover the repair of the broken bumper. But uh, looking good so far. Um, I'll put her in the display cabinet up here in my man cave. And uh, yeah, should be good for now. So the 69 Richard Petty Daytona Superbird is completely repaired and uh, I'm glad because uh, this uh, actually this color petty blue is really hard to come by unless you buy the automotive paint and uh, which I may do because I have a, a bunch of Richard Petty model kits still I want to build so I may splurge and spend a hundred dollars or so for the for the paint to uh, have the blue. Anyway, please rate, comment, and subscribe. And I hope to have more videos up soon. Thank you again for watching.